We call this epic adventure the Lonesome Dove Trail. And there's a common thread that follows through the entire journey along the Lonesome Dove Trail. That thread is this exhibition opening here today at the Sid Richland Museum, Lonesome Dove, The Art of Story. You better hope yeah. this goes well. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, ready. Okay. One, two, three. Yay! You're welcome to enter the museum. Have fun. It's a wonderful exhibition. Young young cowboy uh, did the trail drive to, to Kansas, uh, All right. the Chisholm Trail. Uh, he took a bound book of blank pages. He kept a, kept a journal every night. It's unbelievable how beautifully he wrote that with a, must have been a quill pen. Yeah. Then, you know, and I, I swear McMurtry took the stampede scenes right out of it. I bet it's, it's inside here, isn't it? Yep. It took a long time to get to Lonesome Dove. When it came, it was a comfort. Most of the hours of the day and most of the months of the year, the sun had the, had the town trapped in deep in dust. Far out in the Chaparral Flats, a heaven for snakes and horn toads, road runners and stinging lizards, but hell for pigs and Tennessee. It's fitting that our trail drive sets out from Main Street, Fort Worth. Uh, we're only steps away from where Larry McMurtry found his characters engaged in some of the most memorable shenanigans. It's a little known fact, but Larry McMurtry was sitting in a cafe <coughs> over here in Fort Worth when he saw a church van drive by and it said uh, Lonesome Dove Baptist Church. So the genesis of Lonesome Dove actually began here in Fort Worth.